Welcome to Camilla Montenegro. Dog Biscuits and Junior Achievement. Rexford and Miller are back with more tips. Don't touch Klein, he's on fire. Staples Soccer and James Hickok, both winners. All this and so much more. Good, Good morning, morning, Staples. Staples. Good morning, Staples. It's Thursday, October 25th. I'm Ethan Kobach. And I'm Zach Feinstein. Today is an important day. On this day in 1944, the largest naval battle in history took place in the Philippines between the U.S. and Imperial Japanese Navy. On this day in 1962, American author John Steinbeck was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. And also on this day in 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis began as Adlai Stevenson showed the photos of the U.N. showing Soviet missiles had been installed in Cuba. Today is an important day, and so we have some of our own important news stories for you. But before we begin, would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To begin our show today, we start with an announcement about the upcoming Best Buddies Halloween party. Here's Mike Cothy to tell you more about the big seasonal event. Hi, this is just a very quick announcement for the Best Buddies Halloween party. It's going to be on Sunday, October 28th at Kendall Rockland's house. Best Buddies only. I'll see you all then. Have a lot of fun. All be in costumes. And I'll see you for what we can do. Thank you. Back to the host. Thanks, Mike. Sounds like you're in for a fun time at the party. We hope to have a report on the party on Tuesday's show. Also, we have a report on another party that happened last week. That's right. Last week, the AFS Club honored our newest exchange student, Camilla Montenegro from Argentina. Quinn Voris attended the event and provided us with this video. Hi, I'm Carol Kashapko, and I'm the advisor to the AFS Club, and we have some AFS students here, and some math club students here, math team students here, and this is Camila Montenegro. She is our exchange student from Argentina, and this is our little welcome party for her. We've got a cake for her. It's pretty exciting to have her here. She's also in the ESOL class, and Mrs. Sibulski is the teacher of the ESOL students, and we have a few ESOL students here as well. We have some German students here. We've got a whole uh, mix of uh, Staples students welcoming Camilla to the party. Uh, hi, I'm Robert Bennett. I'm the president of the AFS club, and uh, this is Camilla. She's from Argentina, and uh, I'm just going to ask her a couple of questions. Uh, how do you like it here so far? I like so much. It's so different. Uh, I'm so I have time so fun here, so I'm so happy. To uh, what's your favorite uh, American experience so far? Uh, two weeks ago, I had a trip with Rotary uh, uh, Rotary Exchange, and so I went to Washington DC with my friends. So good experience. That sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, so what, what's different from Argentina school to American schools? Okay, we start class 7.45 and finish 1.30. We have we use uniform. Uh, the students, we have we have one classroom, so the, the teachers move around. And the classes start March and finish December. So, so yeah, my, it's my It's my first public school. This is your first public school? Yeah. All right, so this is Camilla, she's from Argentina, and uh, say hi to her in the hallways. Hi. Welcome to Staples High School, Camilla. If you see Camilla in the halls, be sure to say hello and greet her. Well, it's time for some more study skills from our friends at the English department, Mr. Rexford and Mr. Miller. Here's our piece. Hey Staples, we're back with Mr. Miller and Mr. Rexford with another study skill tip of the week. Alex, what are you doing? Oh, man, just help me up, man. Here. Oh, come on. Dude. Why do you wear that big <laughs> backpack? Let me. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, thanks. Woo. God. I sat there for like 15 minutes. Wow, man. Well, you know, do you have that, that dictionary that I was looking yeah. at? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um. Uh, 
Um, I know it's in here somewhere. Dictionary. There it is. There you we know, go. This might be the last time I give you my pocket dictionary. <laughs> I will let you have the big one, but not this one. Thanks again. What's with the giant backpack? I don't know. You know, I got so many classes, and I'm just trying to, to carry all this stuff around me all the time. I wish there was a place where I could put some of this stuff. You got a streamline. I think I have the perfect idea. Study skill tip of the week, number 72. Use your locker. <laughs> well, there you have it, Staples. Make sure to be using these lockers. We'll be back next week. Now back to the hosts. The trend in backpacking these days is towards ultralight packs with the lightest loads possible. So, this week's tip seems right to be on target. We look forward to your next study skill tip. Now it is time for the news. We begin with some yearbook announcements. The deadline for ads honoring seniors is October 26, so if you plan on placing an ad for some special someone, or even yourself, the deadline is tomorrow. Another yearbook deadline is also tomorrow, and that is the deadline for senior baby pictures. You can email the baby photos to shsyearbook at westport.k12.ct.us. Directories that were not picked up at school can now be picked up by contacting Val Rogers at valerie at westportrogers.com. Stables High School is proud to recognize the following students as semifinalists in the 2012 National Merit Scholarship Competition. Clayton Andrews, Andrew Bowles, Robert DeLuca, Judy Fang, Edmund Hardy, Michael Holtz, Jason Hoving, Matthew Levitin, Blythe Lewis, Leo McElroy, Michael Menz, Caitlin Ran, Douglas Russ, Marcus Rusi, Jordan Shenhar, Felton Weller, Alec Rubel, and Tiffany Yang. Congratulations to all of you. Here's some news from Guidance. Effective with the 2012-13 academic year, the College Board will implement enhanced security measures for all test takers. Those of you planning on taking the SAT should be sure to be aware of these new rules, so be sure to check out the College Board website for a list of these changes. SAT testing will take place at Staples on, on the following dates, October 20th, November 3rd, December 1st, May 4th, and June 1st. Be sure to register early. Let me throw it to Kieran and Dylan for sports. Thanks, Doug. To begin our sports segment, we take a look at Staples boys' soccer team and their tradition of success. James Hickok was kind enough to spend some time with our reporters and share some insights to our boys' soccer team. Here it is. Work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work Work, 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 work. This work. is staple soccer. Work. Let me show you around. On diamonds all in my ring, player. Go watch go chain, player. Hundred thousand champagne, player. Yeah, my money insane, player. Yeah, I'm making it rain, player. But I was just on a plane, player. Buying gear, flying here. It ain't which word is my time of year. Uh, 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 if I'm in the club, I get a hundred stacks. I'm always so I can love for that. I heard he stole my swag, but I don't want it back. Uh. I was on this, but now I'm on to that, you see it? We have 12 state championships, our most recent in 2009. I got so much money, I should start a bank. So much paper right in front of me. We have 27 FCX championships, that's the most of all the other teams in the FCA. We also have three feet in 2008, 2009, and 2010. The bigger the bill, the harder you ball. Well, I'm throwing mine, cause my money long. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is uh, The bigger the bill, the harder you fall James, uh, tell us about uh, how the team's doing this year. Uh, we're looking pretty good, coming off some tough losses, but um, we have some really good showings against Central, and uh, we got a lot of great underclassmen that I'm really excited about. Um, are definitely ready to prove themselves, and we got some big games coming up, so uh, come out and support them. You also tell us about uh, some key players you have on the team this year, their roles. 
Yeah, uh, Andrew Puhala, our sophomore center back, has been fantastic. Uh, Harry Birch in midfield and Joe Greenwald up top. Uh, so those are the guys you should, you should watch out for on the field. Great job, and thanks so much to James Hickok for sharing your story with us. As Brad mentioned last Thursday, the cross-country FCAC championships were last week in New Canaan. Here's a report about the races. Set. They're set. They're off. Wait till they're done playing games. 68. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. 72. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. It was pretty good, Brad. Um, I was very happy with my performance and I was excited about how the team did. I knew coming in that Darianne was number three in the state, um, Dan Barry was number one in the state, and we were number seven. And I didn't really think we'd have a chance of beating them. The fact that we were able to get Darianne um, gives us a good hope to maybe one of those top six teams in the state that qualify for New England. So I was very pleased how the team did. Um, I actually got 15th, which is the last first team all FCX spot, and I was very happy afterwards. 24, Erica! 24! Flying! You've got such a great race going! 1.4 miles! You guys are still riding. Let's go! Here we go, Here we go! Let's go, Staples! Come on, Hannah! Time-wise, we ran better than we had ever run this season. Everyone PR'd from last year and ran faster paces, but everyone in the race seemed to do that well, so places weren't um, what we expected, but we couldn't have asked for more in the race. It was pretty wicked awesome. On Saturday, we have state class, and if we're lucky, we'll have the state open after that, but probably at least a few individuals will be going to the open. XC out. Congratulations, and good luck at states. This Friday is Senior Day for the girls' volleyball team. Here's Anna and Will to tell you more about this event. Hi, I'm Will Patrick. I'm a big Stables girls' volleyball fan. And at 5.30 on Friday, there's a big game against Richfield. I'm Anna Feilich. I'm a member of the girls' volleyball team. And it's also our Senior Day on Friday. So we'd really appreciate if you all came to support us. And here's Chef Rowe to tell you a little bit more about it. So Friday we have a big game against Ridgefield, and not only is it a big game for uh, fifth place in the FCAC, uh, it is our senior night, so come on out and see the game and support all the seniors. Go Stables Volleyball! Thanks, Jeff Bro. I hope to see all of you at the game. Thanks, Anna and Will. Mr. Klein is back as big as ever with week nine of the NFL. He is hot, hot, hot. Let's take a look, but don't touch. You're unbelievable. I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. Another perfect week. What's that? Four in a row. Four in a row. Another oh perfect my week. Goodness. My lock of the week now stands at six and zero. Oh, but I do want to hand it to Matt Thibodeau, yeah. the first student to go undefeated in the Klein Challenge. Matty also had a three and zero oh week as well. At least he's keeping people close. You Keep know, I actually had this kid said, "I know all about sports." I said, "You want to go up against Klein?" And he said, "No." He got scared. He got scared. He actually got scared. But I came up with somebody. All right, let's see it. I got BP Brad Payne here trying to inflict some pain on the Klein Challenge this week. Brad, what kind of football fan are you? Uh, I'm into the Broncos and the Seahawks. Broncos and the Seahawks. We got you. What are your picks for week eight of the NFL season? All right, Staples, here are my picks for the week. I'm picking the Chargers over Cleveland, the Packers over the Jaguars, my lock of the week, the big game in London, Patriots over St. Louis. And I hate the Patriots, but I got to pick them. So Brad took all the cupcakes, um, left me with very slim pickings, but here are my picks for week eight of the NFL season. I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going with the red hot Tennessee Titans over the Indianapolis Colts. 
and my lock of the week. Ooh, that's a big lock, all right. That's a big lock, all right. That's a big lock. Oh, that's a big lock, all right. Once again, trying to stay undefeated is the Chicago Bears over the Carolina Panthers. Put it in the bank, lock it up, throw away the key. Enjoy the games for week eight of the NFL season. See ya. That's our sports report. Now here's Zach and Ethan to close the show. Staples football is playing on Saturday at 1.30 in one of the bigger games of the year. They're playing Darien, which is a big rivalry game for them. Be sure to come out and support your Wreckers. Also, girls varsity volleyball is playing Ridgefield tomorrow. Be sure to come. It's senior day. Be safe. Goodbye, Staples.